Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal. And to mark National Military Spouse Appreciation Day, we thought we'd talk about a military spouse who had a direct impact on airborne history and, in fact, created something that the U.S. Army even wears to this day. So Norma Tuttle Yarbrough, who was married to then-Captain William P. Yarbrough, Yarbrough is synonymous with airborne history. He was there at the inception and throughout his entire distinguished career to uh, Lieutenant General, a uh, picture of him here, he uh, was instrumental in uh, a lot of the airborne history, the developments of uh, parachutes, uniforms, equipment, and in, in, uh, most notably insignia. We have his West Point uniform here. Back to um, Norma Yarbrough, she actually um, was there at Fort Benning in 1940-41 when her husband, a company commander of Company C, 501st Parachute Infantry, got the task to actually create the first Army Parachute Dispatch. Here we have some of the badges here, and Yarbrough, in a remarkable 10-day uh, period, was able to actually get the Army to approve these. And when he returned to Fort Benning with the first 350 uh, wings, the reaction of the soldiers were that these uh, badges are too small in comparison to the only other badge in the U.S. Army at that time, which were aviation wings. So all dejected, he goes back to his quarters and Norma Yarbrough's consoling him. She goes to her sewing kit, takes out a swatch of infantry blue felt and a swatch of artillery red felt, fashions them together and puts them as a backing behind the wings. And what those become is a signifier that a paratrooper is on jump status uh, or with an airborne unit in the United States Army and drawing jump pay. So we have actually uh, one example of, of uh, these ovals here, and this is for the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 82nd Airborne Division. You just see it's a piece of cloth with the actual affixed, affixing device for the parachute badge pushed through it and then pinned to the uniform itself. Um, so what she is able to do as a military spouse, having grown up in the military, totally committed to soldiers and, and loving her husband, uh, as she did, she uh, served to um, take something that uh, he thought was a disaster at the time. They don't like him. We've got seven days to the award ceremony. There was nothing he could do. And uh, she, being resourceful and committed, figured out how to uh, embellish these uh, smaller wings, make them stand out on a soldier's uniform. And now in all the airborne units they've created, ovals like this that have unique color schemes and it is now part of airborne tradition.